Good morning, Apollo Baptist Church. It is Monday morning, and we are now in the month of June, June 1st. And I want to direct your attention to our Bible reading plan. And this week, we are in Psalm 119. We are in verses 1 through 96. He say, how many verses are there? In this chapter, there's 176 verses. It's divided into 22 stanzas or strophes. It's poetry. And in each stanza or strophe, there are eight lines in each one. And so it is divided into 22 segments. Each of them aligned with a letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It's really quite a remarkable format. I want to direct your attention to the second stanza. It happens to be our memory passage, but I want to focus on a few things that God has used to speak to my heart. I've been memorizing it, and uh, I can say it pretty good, but I, I have to pause and think occasionally, but that's okay. Uh, we don't ever have to do it perfect but God uses it to really work in our heart. Let me walk you through it, and I may peek, and so if I look down, it's because I'm peeking, but that's okay. Uh, no problem with peeking. How can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word. With all my heart, I have sought you. Do not let me wander from your commandment. Your word I have treasured in my heart that I may not sin against you. There's that transformation thing that we need to be focusing on. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Um, let me peek. With my lips, with my lips, I have told of all the ordinances of your mouth. I have rejoiced in all of your, in the test, in the way, I have rejoiced in the ways of your testimonies as much as in all riches. Oh, that's very convicting to me. In other words, I have found as much joy in your word as I have in uh, riches. Ooh, God, I need to grow. And then he says, I will, I will, I will meditate on your precepts and regard your ways. I shall delight in your statutes. I shall not forget your word. I want to think about that second to the last verse. I will meditate on your precepts. Memorization is hard. <laughs> it's hard for all of us. And some of us can do it better than others, but it's hard for everyone. But there's great value in it. And let me tell you why. Because as you meditate on Scripture, it becomes more so a part of who you are. And as it becomes more so a part of who you are, it has more power to change the deepest darkest parts of us. And so when you and I try to memorize something, it's not simply for performance. Trust me, it's not. When you and I seek to memorize God's Word, it is so that we can package it deep into our soul, deep into our heart, so that the light of God's greatness can shine where it is the darkest in us. And so if we take the time to meditate, ponder, ruminate, go over it and over it and over it in our heart, there is greater depth and change that can come from it. As Pastor Gary has pointed out recently in a couple different settings, that meditating is like a slow rain versus a flash flood. Around here in the Phoenix area, we get flash floods. Everything is so dry, 
uh, it just runs off and it doesn't do much good to moisturize the, the soil. But if you get a slow, slow rain, it just soaks in and soaks in and soaks in. And meditation is like that. You and I need for God's word to soak deep inside our lives so as to change us from the inside out. And so, verse 15, second to the last in this strophe, I will meditate on your precepts. Yes. I, and regard your ways. Oh God, change me on the inside. And Lord, may you be honored by my life. Thank you. Love you. Spend time in God's Word.